So this is like my second attempt at trying to film this video as my dogs won't stop barking and yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to say, I know I haven't been on YouTube for like, I think it's at least two or three months. And the reasons being that I was in America for 17 days on holiday with my mum, my stepdad and my boyfriend. So that's why I didn't film any videos then. There's some stuff been going on in like my personal life with like my mum and that. So I'm not going to go into detail. If you followed me on like social media then you'd probably already know that. They are my reasons for not uploading any videos recently. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. I'm back into making videos now. If you have any requests then just message me or leave them in the comments or whatever. So today I have my America beauty haul for you and I actually went to America last year as well and I was making videos last year but not as like regular and I didn't end up filming like a haul last year or anything so the reasons I haven't got certain bits this year were because I got them last year if that makes any sense. I'm just gonna jump straight into the haul and I hope you enjoy it. Just to say I did obviously get other bits in America like I got clothing bits and non-beauty bits so I will be making another video about the other stuff I got. Obviously if you're more into makeup and beauty related items then that video probably won't interest you that much. Yeah. So I'm just gonna start off with some bits I got in Victoria's Secret as I only got two like beauty bits from there and the rest was just like some underwear and stuff so that will be in my other video. Got like this massive basket full of stuff. The first thing I got in Victoria's Secret was this Victoria's Secret Dreamy Vanilla Fragrance Mist. And as this is sort of like self-explanatory it's just a vanilla body spray. It is as it says like dreamy so it's like really creamy and rich so if you like vanilla then you'll love this. The next thing, well the last beauty thing I got in Victoria's Secret was the Victoria's Secret Scandalous Fragrance Mist. So basically I said to the girl that I wanted something really really sweet and this was the sweetest fragrance that she actually like recommended. I'm not very good at um, describing scents but it sort of smells sort of like berry-ish and I don't know like an, a perfume instead of like a fragrance mist and that's just what the bottle looks like. The next thing I'm going to show you are candles and the first candle I'm going to start off with is one from a supermarket in America called Publix or Pubix or what, however you say it and it's this one and it's by the brand Jolly Rancher which is really popular in America and they're actually a sweet brand or candy if you're American and it's the watermelon scented candle. Inside is sort of like a jelly based sort of candle and if you can see there's like little like bits in it and I think it's meant to look like there's actually bits of watermelon inside the candle if that makes sense. Yeah if you love watermelon then I recommend this so much. So yeah I love that. I'm just going to light that actually. So the next candles I got were from Bath and Body Works and this was the main thing I really wanted to get when I was in America was the Bath and Body Works candles and all the hand, hand sanitizers and everything. I got four candles whilst I was out there. So the first candle I got which I was most excited about as my favourite YouTuber Jacqueline Hill owns it and like swears by this scent. So this was Twisted Peppermint and it's just got like a little what they called badger or skunk or something on the front and like a little mailbox. This reminds me of the uh, peppermint humbugs, is that what they're called? Or like you know the striped humbug sort of sweet things you get in like Tesco. Basically I hate minty smells like toothpaste sort of smells if that makes sense but I really love the smell of like actual peppermint if that makes sense. So it's sort of like the candy cane sort of scent and this is definitely that scent so yeah I love that. The next one that I got is the marshmallow fireside candle. And it's just got like a little fireplace on the front. And this is actually, what's it called? Like when you can feel like it's all bumpy. Can't think what it's called. But yeah, it's all like glittery in that on the front. This just reminds me of like, if you go into a pub at um, Christmas time and they've got like a fire. And you can just smell like the coal and like all the like logs and just, I don't know, that sort of smell. Toasting marshmallows on like a fire or something. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going with this but... 
yeah that's what it reminds me of this so. next one is butterscotch toffee it's just got a little bow on the front with a little butterscotch thing i don't like the lid of this one as much because it's really sharp and you could easily like cut yourself on it so yeah again self-explanatory it just smells of butterscotch it reminds me of being at school and having like butterscotch tart when i was little so i really like that one but i thought i'd save the best till last with these candles this last one is vanilla bean noel or noel or however you say it and it's just got a cute little polar bear on the front and again like a little badger or fox or something this is my favorite as i love vanilla and it's my favorite scent of like all time it's very subtle whereas vanilla is normally quite overpowering and like sweet whereas this is just sort of like a subtle Christmassy vanilla smell i've got my basket of stuff here that i just chucked it all in here because it was easier the next things i got from bath and body works were the body lotions as when i was in america they actually had a deal on where they were three dollars each and i actually regret like not picking more up but i wasn't really sure on some of the scents so the ones i got were the vanilla bean knoll the same as the candle i just showed and that's what it looks like and then I got the Twisted Peppermint, the same as the first candle I showed. I do find though, when I put this on my legs, like before I put fake tan on, that my legs the other day were like burning, they was like on fire, because obviously it's like got mint in it. And yeah, I just wouldn't recommend that if uh, you've just exfoliated your legs and then you just put this on top. This one is amazing and it just smells so, so nice. The next things were hand sanitizers. I'm just going to show this one quickly. This one I didn't get in Bath & Body Works. This was just from Target or Walgreens, somewhere like that. This was about $2 and as you all know, I'm obsessed with Disney. So I've got the Disney Princess Antiseptic Hand Cleansing Gel and it's just got Rapunzel on the front it just comes with a little thing so you just like clip this onto your bag or whatever so the ones i actually got from bath and body works were the vanilla bean noel noel i don't know the same as the body lotion and candle the next was iced blackberries and this is just really nice and refreshing the next is frosted wonderland and it's just got a little bunny on the front what I love about these is they all have sort of like glitter in, but when you actually put it on your hands, like you don't get covered like in the glitter. So the next is Twisted Peppermint, the same as the body lotion and candle. And then the last one I got was the Sugar Plum Dream. And this is one I'm using at the moment as I've put it in the little carriers you can get in there. And this is just red, pink, purple and white. And it's just like a little silicone case to keep it in. And I also got another one of these cases, just a little blue, green and white one, just for these ones to go in. All I got in Bath & Body Works, I really wish that I got more stuff, but we just didn't really like time to keep going in there all the time, so. The next things I'm going to show are drugstore makeup items. So I'm just going to start off with some brushes. So these brushes are from the brand Elf, and the first brush I got was this bronzing brush. And all three of these brushes were a dollar each, so that's why I sort of picked them up, just to give them a go. I prefer to use this brush with blusher instead of bronzer, as when I apply my bronzer, I prefer to use like a bigger brush. So yeah, the next brush is a concealer brush. And I actually just use this, like as it says, for concealer. And I just use this to sculpt my brows or just to perfect my eyeliner, my wing. Yeah, I really, really like this. And I usually use the... Real Techniques, I think it's a detailer brush, the gold one, for my concealer, but I've been really loving using this as it sort of like has a flat edge to it. The last brush from e.l.f. was the eyeshadow brush. And I've just been using this to like pack pigments or eyeshadows onto my lid when I just want a bit more. So I just want to like pack them on and not like swipe. So yeah, I really, really love this brush. The next thing from e.l.f. is the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And it just looks like this and you get a wax and a powder and you actually get two little brushes or one brush i don't actually use them so i've so i've just chucked them in like one of the back of my makeup drawers i actually got two of these as i'd heard so many good things about them and when i started using it when i was in america i really really like fell in love with it so i just got a backup and this is actually what it like comes in. The next thing I got, which I'd heard so many good things about, and I just knew that I was gonna love it, was the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. 
and it's just like this and again this came with like a little compact like powder puff thing but I just sort of chuck that in the bin as I don't really use them. I prefer to apply my bronzer with a brush. I think this was like two dollars so and this is actually in the shade 720A Sunny and again I picked up a backup of that as well. The next thing I got was just a little Vaseline creme brulee lip balm and this was just from Walgreens. I think it was like two dollars as we don't have like this in the UK so the next thing I got was from NYX and it's the NYX Wonder Pencil. It's just a concealer and that's it there. Again this was like like four dollars or something and I just used this to sculpt my brows and draw this underneath my eyebrow and then just um blend it in with the e.l.f. concealer brush. The next thing from NYX was the NYX HD concealer and I got mine in the shade in the shade CW2 O2 yeah and um, this is what it looks like. This sort of reminded me a bit of the Collection 2000 concealer that's a reason why I wanted to pick it up because I really love that concealer and I've been using this to like highlight under my eyes and that and I love it so I'll definitely I'll definitely, re I'll definitely be repurchasing this on like eBay or the NYX website. So the last bits I got from NYX were the NYX Butter Lipsticks. And I've seen these on like YouTube and blogs and stuff and I really, really wanted to pick these up. These I think are the, in the same sort of range as the Butter Gloss. The Butter Glosses by NYX and I own a few of them so yeah, I really wanted to get these. I've got one in the shade Cotton Candy and it's just like a baby pink colour. This is what it looks like. And then I got a nude and I got this one in the shade Snow Cap. I wasn't sure what the pigmentation was going to be like so I only picked up two at first. But again, I wish I picked up more. This is Snow Cap. That's them, and I love them. I've been pairing them with the next item I got from NYX, which was the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. I've been pairing them, uh, like the nude one, with this, and it looks amazing. So this is Creme Brulee. That's it there. The next thing I got was from Wet n Wild, and so many people on YouTube talk about this little palette, and this is Walking on Eggshells. And again, it came with brushes, but I just sort of chucked them to the back of my makeup storage. So you've got the brow bone highlight, the crease shade, and the eyelid shade. And I think it's really good how they sort of map it out. So if you're a beginner in makeup, then you can sort of, you know where to put your eyeshadow. I wore that actually basically every single day when we was on holiday as well. It was so easy to apply. I'll just swatch this. So this is the lid shade. It's just sort of like a pinky movie shade. It's not picking up on camera. This is the crease shade. It's just like a bronzy brown. And then this is the brow bone highlight. And it's just like a shimmery champagne colour. Again, it's not picking up. I don't know if you can see that. Next thing from Wet n Wild is the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Liner. This is what that looks like. Okay, I can't really... <laughs> okay. <laughs> this isn't going very well, but yeah, that's it there. And this is in the shade Ultra Black. And basically, um, I own the Benefit Their Real Push Up Liner. And everyone always says that that's hard to get off. That is not hard to get off compared to this. This, I used to use like my old waterproof eye makeup remover about three times on this. It stays all day, so that's the main thing. Next thing from Wet n Wild was the dark brown eyeliner, eyebrow pencil thing. That's just what that looks like. I just wanted a brown eyeliner, so I just picked this one up and it's really good. Next from Wet n Wild are these lipsticks and I picked up three. So the first one is in Bear It All. And I haven't um like I haven't taken these out of the packet yet because one of I already have one of the bear it all ones already open. This is bear it all. That's it there. I've been using this one quite a lot. I haven't opened the other shades yet as I just want to sort of use that one up before I like 
get into opening these ones. I've just got another bear it all one there. And then I've got just peachy, which is like like a peachy pinky shade. And then I got sugar. And actually this is more of a peachy colour than the just peachy, so they're a really nice consistency, really like creamy. I'd even say they're sort of comparable to MAC. The next place, well, or the next brand I bought from was Milani. And the one thing I wanted from there so much that I was even going to order it on Amazon before we went to America was the Milani, Milani blush in Luminoso. And it's just this beautiful, peachy, sort of shimmery, bronzy blush. That's it there. I've been wearing this so much. I haven't actually got it on today. Yeah, I love this. And you can see I've been using it so much, the packaging's starting to wear off already, or well, the writing. And then the last two things from Milani were this Milani eyeshadow in Bella Emerald, number 18. It's just this really nice, like, greeny, well, emerald shade. That's it there. And then I got one in Bella Teal. And I haven't actually opened this one yet, so... This one interested me a lot. It sort of reminded me of like a mermaid shade. As you know, I'm obsessed with the Little Mermaid, so. This is the blue. It's just like a metallic-y, bluey shade. I can't wait to like do some tutorials with these eyeshadows. And the last few bits I got from the drugstore was this EOS lip balm. And I've got loads of these already, just not this flavour. And this is just in coconut milk. Basically, I was searching for this lip balm basically every single day we was on holiday. I went into Walgreens, I went into Target, I went into Walmart, every single place possible that I thought would sell this and everywhere was out of stock of it. And it was on like one of our last days, I found it in Walgreens and I picked up two. <laughs> My mum's actually got one. Yeah, so I finally got it. Then I got something from Hard Candy and it's a Glamour Glamouflage Heavy Duty Concealer. And I've seen a lot of YouTubers use this and I was really interested in it as it sort of looks like the Kat Von D Locket concealer. I think it's that. And with that you just get like this little pencil. So if you have like a tattoo and you want to cover it up, you just line your tattoo with like the pencil and then just fill it in with the actual uh, liquid concealer. It's really dark. I'm sorry if the lighting is really bad all of a sudden. So the last things that I'm going to show you are really exciting, well for me anyway, and it's the high-end makeup that I got. So I'm just going to start off with some bits that I got in duty free on the way out there. The first thing I bought myself was the Bobbi Brown Highlight Powder and this is in Bronze Glow and it just comes with a mirror this is what it looks like it's sort of like they're shimmer bricks but like not a shimmer brick <laughs> it's like it's like just like a solid highlighter if that makes any sense and i just thought this was stunning and as soon as i saw it i just had to get it i think these are normally like 35 pound but because i was in duty three i got it for like 28 pound or 26 pounds something like that the last thing i got in duty free my boyfriend actually bought for me which was really nice of him and he bought me the mac keepsakes mac studio brush kit it's their heirloom collection my puppy is in here and I'm trying to pick up all my stuff bracken come here you just get this really nice box and it has like the little heirloom symbol here of like a woman <laughs> and then this is the makeup bag that the brushes come in again you get the little heirloom symbol it's not a very big makeup bag but say if you wanted to like take this to school or like work or whatever to put it in your bag then it's the perfect size but not for keeping like loads of makeup in i don't actually use that as a makeup bag because i don't want to get it ruined or dirty so i just keep that like in my wardrobe as sort of like as it says like a keepsake just to look back on and the brushes that come in the set i'm going to read them off the box because I don't want to get any of the names wrong. So you get the 129 powder blush brush and this is this and I've been really loving using this to apply my blush on and as you can see I've got a bit of blush on it at the moment. This works so so nicely with the Milani new Luminoso blush that I showed earlier. Next we have the 190 foundation brush and this is this. So it's just a flat foundation brush. I'm not a big fan of foundation brushes, like I prefer a buffing brush to apply my foundation. This would be good to use when I'm doing other people's makeup. Next brush is the 209 eyeliner brush and this is 
this so some of them are a bit dirty because i haven't like cleaned them yeah it's just like a fine line brush next is the 213 fluff brush and this is what this looks like so if you're just like applying like color to the lid or just like applying your brow bone highlight then this brush would be really good to use and then my favorite brush out of the whole set which is the 224 tapered blending brush and I just use this brush just to blend colour through the crease or just to apply my transition shade and all that jazz. So, so I'm just going to move on to the actual bits I got in America. First of all, how could I not start with this? It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And I've been wanting to order this online for months and months. But I didn't know what shade I'd have. Like I didn't know if I'd end up getting one that was too cool tone or too warm tone. And make my eyebrows look ginger. <laughs> but the lady in Sephora matched me and she matched me perfectly. So I'm in the shade dark brown. I think this is also classed as brunette, brunette dark brown, something like that. So you just get the spoolie one side and then you just have the brow product the other side. And what I love about this is that the actual product itself is really hard. Like I wasn't expecting it to be like that whatsoever considering I've tried like loads of brow pencils and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, when you apply this you can get such like... A natural finish to your brows like I don't have it on today but I use the spoolie a lot but when I'm going for more of a natural brow then I'll just use this I'm in love with this and I can see what it's so hyped about I really want to order the dip brow pomade or pomade however you say it as I do use the MAC dip down fluid line on my eyebrows I'd love to try the Anastasia one and then lastly from Anastasia Anastasia I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel see it's just a clear brow gel as a lot of beauty gurus and youtubers say that this is like glue for your eyebrows and it generally is like I could put this on at like nine in the morning and still have it on by like nine at night my eyebrows would still be in place I love this I'd say if you're going for more of a dramatic brow then get one of like the colored ones like the dark brown or whatever if you're just going for a natural brow then I'd say just use this with the brow whiz or you could just use this on its own and it will still give definition to your brows the so, next yeah. thing I got was the urban decay slick makeup setting spray and this is the oil control one have you use the Urban Decay setting sprays before the I think it's just the stay all day or something like that just like the same size bottle I didn't want to spend like loads on the products that I could get in England so I just got the sample one of this and I really like it the next thing I got was the Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and this says it's oil free and I've heard a lot of good things about this and in England this is really expensive so I just picked up the sample size of that and I really like it. Next I picked up the original Beauty Blender and I was so so excited to pick this up as I own the Real Techniques Complexion Sponge, Miracle Complexion Sponge, and I own the one by Cosmopolitan. But I really wanted to try the original one just to see the difference and see why everyone loves this one so much. I haven't actually opened it yet as I did want to sort of do a first impressions on it. The next two things I wanted to pick up so badly as soon as we got to America. I could have just got these products and then been happy with like the rest of my holiday and not bought anything else. First thing I got was the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. I got mine in the shade N155 and the lady matched me to that. I do love this foundation. I find that if I really want a heavy coverage then I have to apply a few pumps of it. First pump I find isn't actually enough to give you like, like a medium to full coverage. I do recommend applying a couple of pumps of that to like build up the intensity that you want. My puppy is like laying like right by my feet so I'm trying so hard not to drop this on his head. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not that horrible. The next thing I got was the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation and I was so like desperate to get this. I got mine in the shade Medium 53. Oh and by the way these foundations are the shades that match my fake tan. I'd rather have it matched to my fake tan shade than my actual face shade if that makes sense absolutely love this foundation have nothing bad to say about it at all it's the best coverage i've ever used i think this is better than mac studio fix and i say it a lot one thing i will say it's very thick so if you use like, like i don't know like the beauty blender or the real technique sponge or something just to thin it out a bit if you don't like such a thick foundation i absolutely love this i'm actually wearing it today as well i don't know if you can if you can tell. And then the last bits I picked up in Sephora were from NARS. And I only got two bits from NARS. And I wanted to ask for some NARS bits for Christmas. I wasn't that sort of hyped up about getting stuff from America. Like 
NARS stuff, as I wanted to try like, the um, things that I couldn't get over in England, in America. So I picked up the NARS blush in Super Orgasm. <laughs> And it just comes with a mirror, obviously. It's just this beautiful, pinky, peachy, shimmery shade. It doesn't show up that well on my finger. No, it won't show up. Basically, I've got it on my cheeks today, and I love this. I was going to get the Orgasm blush, but my mum, Lady and Sephora, and myself agreed that this was like looking better on my skin, um, as this is more pinky than Orgasm. Orga Orgasm is more of a peachy tone blush, and personally, I think pink blushes look better on my skin than peach. I would love to get Orgasm though, but just at the time, that was more what I went for. Um, and then the last thing from NARS, which I'm absolutely in love with, is an audacious lipstick, and I got mine in the shade Anna. Again, I basically got this lipstick because Jaclyn Hill was wearing it, and it looked absolutely stunning on her, so I just had to get it. And Actually, since I've got it, it's actually my favourite lipstick ever. The formula of these lipsticks is so much better than MAC, and that's saying something. I love MAC. It's like my favourite makeup brand, but NARS have outdone MAC on this one. This is the lipstick here. And they're just so creamy, these lipsticks. They're just unreal. This is like a mauvey sort of purpley toned sort of, I don't know, sort of like a nudie shade. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just in love with it. Oh, actually, the last thing I got in Sephora was um this little perfume. Basically, I got a Sephora card, obviously. Like, sort of like what you get like in Tesco, like a club card sort of thing. Um, if you have enough points on your card, then you can purchase like a little reward for yourself. And I had like over so many points on my card. And this was like 100 points or something. Got this little perfume. And I think it's so cute. It's the Chloe perfume. I actually had the big bottle of this, but there was no other perfume at the time that I saw that I liked. It comes in this cute little bottle. I just thought it was really, really cute. It even says Chloe on the top. And obviously it's my name, so yeah. I just thought this would be so cute to like put in my handbag and I'm good to go. Oh my god, I can't believe that I forgot to mention the one thing that I'm the most happy about out of all my makeup that I got. Basically, I went into Sephora. Obviously, I picked up the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blushes. And you actually get a set of five. And I think this is like the most beautiful thing I've ever bought. Even the box is nice itself. This was $42. And basically, a Tarte blusher in America is $26 a blusher. So I worked out that if I was to get five individual Tarte blushes, it would have cost me like $130, something like that. So basically you get like this really beautiful gold packaging and it comes with two little hair clips on the box. This reminded me of like a clutch bag and you just, you just have a li the little clasp there that says Tarte on it and you just press that in and you've got five beautiful tart blushes and a massive mirror i haven't swatched these yet because i just don't want to like use them up they're just so beautiful i just don't want to use them so the first blush is in got like the little thing here it's in breathless yeah it's just this neutral sort of peachy shade the next one which really interested me is embraced and this is like a mauvey purpley pinky shade with shimmer running through it and I think that's stunning. Next is Whimsy or Whimsy. And it's just this bright, dolly, like, pinky shade. And that has no shimmer running through it whatsoever. That's just matte. Then the next one is called Bashful. And it's just this peachy, shimmery shade again. And then the last shade is just like a rosy, uh, pinky, purpley shade. And that is called Irreplaceable. Totally in love with that palette and I can't wait to use it when I actually do use it. I think that'd be actually a really nice Christmas present, like for your mum or like your daughter or something. Oh my so. god, I keep remembering loads of stuff that I bought but I haven't shown so I'm just going to quickly get them out of the way then, yeah. In Sephora I got the Blender Cleanser Solid by Beauty blender and it's just like a cleaning solid soap for like your brushes and to just give to just give them like a quick deep clean and i really like that it's really good and i did get loads of lashes when i was in america but a lot of them i wore out there and some of them weren't that good so the ones i did use a lot which i wish i picked up more of was the salon perfect i think they were called these are the number 33 I picked these up because they're like voluminous and they're really easy to put on. As I said, the last three pairs aren't in the box because I used them. These were the lashes I used over the like three weeks 
well, 17 days we were there, so yeah. The last place I went was MAC, and the lot I actually only got one thing in MAC, which is, like, the biggest shock ever. Basically, like I was saying, like, if I can get a makeup brand in England, then I wasn't going to go and spend loads of money in America on it. So yeah, I just picked up the MAC Blue Brown Pigment, and I've been wanting this for so long. Every tingles, every tingle? <laughs> every single time I went to order this online in England, it was always sold out, and MAC pigments are £17 each, and I got this for $21 and when I um, used the converter on my phone that was like £13 and I do think the MAC pigments are really expensive but for what you actually get in them personally I prefer the MAC pigments to the eyeshadows like some MAC eyeshadows I don't think good at all you have to keep building up the colour basically to get a good pigmentation but with the MAC pigments they're just outstanding so this is blue brown pigment and you probably can't see in this light but basically when I like turn my hand it's got like an iridescence i think it's called so in some lights it will look brown and some lights it will look blue and this just looks so stunning on your eyelid like the other day i just put like a brown shadow through my crease and just put this on my lid and oh it just looks so nice I highly recommend this for the christmas season christmas time we're going to any christmas party so that's the end of my america beauty haul really hope you enjoyed this video and i'm so glad that i'm back to filming and everything do excuse my laptop i'm so glad i'm back like filming videos and everything now so if you have any requests as i said at the beginning of the video then please leave them in the comments down below or message me on twitter or direct message me on Instagram or whatever. I leave all my like, Instagram and social media links in the comments down in the comments in the description bar. And yeah, I hope you're having a lovely week and thank you so much for watching. Also, leave me your favourite thing that I've got in this video in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye!